Youth Runner here with Ellie Askew and Vivian Jack. Uh, the Classical Academy continues to be the gold standard in the state of Colorado. It doesn't matter the classification, ladies and gentlemen. That is now 16 state titles. Uh, that is now uh, six of the past seven, obviously back to back. And uh, it's because these women are back to back, third and fourth overall in, in, in the 3A final. Uh, Ellie, when we say that stuff out loud, uh, I mean, it's just, I mean, you ladies are still showing the emotion as if you won your first, you know, like the Thompson Valley boys did this morning in 4A. But uh, I mean, I know it never gets old, but just why is this one special, Ellie? Um, especially coming in as a freshman, I think that it's just working so hard to get to this place um, through all of the um, hardships that we've gone through this year as a team together. I'm just so happy um, and blessed I'm to be able to run this. Vivian, uh, just, uh, the, the fact that it just, you know, trusting in the training, trusting in, in each other. I'm, I think it ended up being the five scores all, you know, all in the top 20, you, uh, especially with Manitou being, you know, so formidable uh, uh, this year. I mean, how much do you just really rely on each other and, 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 and trust one another in big moments like this? Um, I am so proud of all these girls and throughout our training, we've all really relied on each other just knowing we're all going to the same thing. And like, these girls are like my sisters. Like it's like so close and it's just like so awesome to see like all these girls put like 100%, 110% into everything like we've been doing. And we just come out here today and it just feels so amazing to just like see like a reflection of what we've been working on all season. Uh, Ellie, when, I mean, uh, when, when we get to, when we get to uh, you know to November and we get to Norris Penrose, I mean, it just seems like you know much like the leaves change colors in the fall. It's like we're going to see TCA and we're going to see this group here contending for a state championship. But you know, like you said, some of the hardships, some of the challenges, some of the obstacles this year. Was there ever any uncertainty, ever any doubt that like it would all it would all come together uh, by the time you ladies you know got to postseason qualifying, or was there always just kind of the, the understanding like? Again, trust in each other, trust in the coaches, trust in the support system that it would all work out like it did today. I think definitely trusting that we've all have worked together to get to here. Um, and yeah, I've been trusting that we would do this good. Yeah. Vivian, uh, in, just in, in, in terms of, you know, you know, not not just a group like Manitou, but I mean, obviously, with great athletes like Delaney and Liz and whatnot, just really elevating the entire classification. I mean, again, you ladies are the, are the gold standard. But if you even think back to like, you know, like Ellie, like you were saying, like when you were a freshman until now, just how much the classification continues to improve. Like what we saw with Matthew and the boys last year, just continuing, you know, to, uh, you know, kind of just to raise the level of everyone. Vivian, how much does that uh, that mean to you? That it's not just about TCA winning championships, but it's about you know, uh, like really oh, wanting to challenge each other and make everybody else better in the whole classification. What does that mean to you? Um, it definitely means a lot. Like, just working for like something bigger than ourselves, working for something like what Matthew and Chandler had a couple years ago. Like, it's just like so awesome just to have something like that and just so special. And I just like cherish that and I'm so grateful for that. Well, we know we're going to see you ladies at uh, NXR uh, Southwest uh, in Arizona on November 23rd. Three more weeks uh, to, to sharpen and fine tune. Uh, but uh, is, is it also exciting uh, to know that, uh, that, you know, as you were uh, sharing uh, with, with Emma a few minutes ago, like that there's the opportunity uh, to take it even further and, uh, and, you know, have a great learning experience this year in Arizona to hopefully kind of set that foundation for a realistic goal to, uh, to go to NXN, you know, in, in another year is like, so, I mean, you're going to go down there to compete, but, uh, but is it also just kind of like, you know, gaining an understanding of, uh, of, of what it's going to take to be at a national level in two years? Um, yeah, I definitely think that this this year we're going to go and just learn because we have freshmen, we have people who are new to racing, we have people who are injured, stuff like that. So I think this year is just going to be a year where we're just going to get to know the course a little better and get to like learn how to race way better, just get sharper on those everything, you know. And then next year I think we definitely have an insane shot at going. Ellie, uh, what, uh, what do you hope uh, the group can really sharpen and fine tune in the next three weeks? Oh, um, let's see. I know everybody was living for today, yeah. but, uh, but now that this is a done deal and we're going to get another championship plaque, the 16th overall, I mean, do you, like, do you see that even with five in the top 20, that, that like, there's, there's, uh, there's still room for that group to be more cohesive in three weeks? Yeah, I mean, we're still practicing on pack running and like staying tight, tight as a group. Um, so definitely that. I think it's just, I think we have enough time to start working on that. So definitely pack running. Awesome. Again, back to back, six of seven, 16 overall. No team in the state that's better than TCA. Girls, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you.